guys so welcome back so today I have a special recipe for you okay so with all my other cooking videos when I'm seasoning meat and stuff just in case you're wondering what does Marie season use to season her meat with okay what type of seasoning does she use so I'm gonna tell you guys if okay if you don't see me using this green seasoning that means I'm all out okay so I have the recipe here for you so it's a wonderful green seasoning okay once you put this on your meat chicken beef even fish you don't need anything else okay if you're gonna grill it if you're gonna roast it if you're gonna barbecue it you can use this green seasoning okay so now I'm gonna share with you my ingredients for this green seasoning okay here we go guys okay so over here Oh, I need a pointer for this okay so right here I have well you can we call this culantro okay so this is culantro you can find this at any supermarket I guess um, usually Asian supermarkets you can find these okay and the smell and the fragrance on it is so nice I mean nice strong fragrance so they so there's another name culantro okay and here we have green onions or scallions Okay, so I chop these up. Okay, so here we have four, four or five cloves of garlic you can use. As much garlic as you want, that's fine. Here we have ginger. You can use more ginger if you so desire. Okay, so here I have onions. I have this one too. I gotta peel this one. And here I have a, this is actually a sweet um, pepper. So it's a sweet, it's like a banana pepper. Okay, so it's usually longer, but I used half of it and do something else. Okay, so this is all our ingredients. Oh yeah, pepper guys. So I have a little um, chili pepper here. This is what I'm gonna put in it. But you can also use scotch bonnet pepper or ghost pepper or whatever pepper you like. But don't put a lot because you don't want your seasoning to be too spicy, okay? You want it to be tolerable when you're eating it because you might feed this to a child also. Okay, so this is it. We're also gonna use vinegar. So half cup of vinegar in this and um oh and how many much salt let's see one teaspoon of salt and we're gonna also put a teaspoon and a half of sugar all right if you if you want to um omit the sugar you can you don't if you don't want to put the sugar you don't need to put the sugar okay so here we go and of course you have to have your nice strong trusty blender all right so here we go guys oh and here I have uh, some chicken leg quarters, there's four of them. So what I'm gonna do after I uh, make my green seasoning, I'm gonna clean this chicken. I have it here seasoned, I have it here soaking in vinegar and I have uh, half a lemon here. So I'm gonna clean it, clean it off, clean off all the fat, everything. And then I'm gonna use the green seasoning and show you how I season meat using the green season. Okay guys, so I'll be back. Okay guys, so Here's the chicken. I'm gonna season um, the green seasoning. I'm gonna use the green season to season. And remember guys, after you finish cleaning your chicken in your sink, just spray it with some um, Lysol, okay? Just to kill any bacteria that, um, that, you know, chicken have salmonella. So you don't want salmonella to spread onto your dishes. So just clean your sink well, clean it with some Lysol, you're good. Some extra guys I always wipe down the place get another lemon just wipe it down spray it just make sure that your place is you know disinfected so yeah, I show you before I added um, finely time to it and I'm just waiting for um, my broad leaf time okay so when that comes then we'll just start blending up everything all right okay guys so here we have the broad leaf time they just came my daughter just went and get some there it is that's broadleaf thyme and this is the fine thyme okay so now we're all ready we're ready now for our green seed green seasoning ready to mix it all up in the blender all right here we go okay guys so now we're ready to put all our seasonings into our blender there we go we have the Cilantro, we have the green onion. Okay, we have ginger. We have garlic. So I have like 
five cloves of garlic. Five clove, yeah. We have our broad leaf thyme, just this much we're using, guys. Okay, and we have our onions. Onions, we have a bit of fine leaf thyme. There it is. Okay, make sure you get all that goodness in there. Okay, and I did put um, that little chili pepper you saw, that's in there also. You don't need more than that because you know what, when you use this to season your meat, what if you don't want it to be spicy? Okay, so you just hold back on the spice. All right, so here we have it, guys. I'm trying to use one hand for this. Okay, that's better. Yes, now I'm putting on the lid on our blender. There's a lid. Okay. Okay, guys, I gotta put the vinegar. Okay, so now we have our half cup of vinegar. There it goes. And now we're ready to blend this. Okay, there it goes. All right, there it is. Okay, guys, so here we go. Okay guys, so it's all blended. Look at this. That's what you want. That's how you want to see your green seasoning. Okay, you don't want it like um, too creamed. You don't want it too rough either. This here is the perfect consistency. Perfect. Look at that. Let me try and show you. There. There it is. This is perfect. I'm gonna season the chicken and show you, you know, how it looks and how I go about using this on my meats. So guys, so here we have our four um, chicken leg thigh, whatever quarter, whatever you call it. We have it here. So there's actually four of them. So I'm gonna use the same spoon. Oops, this. Okay. Now I got a different spoon, okay? So I'm gonna use two heaping teaspoon and coat our chicken with with our green seasoning, okay? Two, say two and a half. Let's use two and a half. There we go. Okay, so now I'm just gonna, yeah, so after you do that, you know how to season your meat, right? You just rub it up. Make sure your hands are clean. Clean, clean, clean. All right. And then you just massage the seasoning onto your chicken. Okay, push it in the in the little slits that you see me make earlier. If you make slits in your chicken, it's a good idea. See, look, see, just slit your chicken like that so that you're able to push your seasoning inside of there. And then when you're eating your chicken, after you grill it or cook it or pot roast it or whatever, you will actually taste the flavor right down to the bowl okay guys so we're back for the pepper side the, pe the pepper side the pepper sauce uh, portion of this video I put these videos together because pepper sauce is very easy you know so I don't want to give you a two minute video might as well I just put them together so anyways we have our peppers here I use this is about a cup and a half of pepper so what I did guys I took the seeds out okay because if I didn't take the seeds out trust me you would suffer while eating this. Yeah, this one have a little bit of seed, but all right, okay, see? There, make sure you take most, all of the seed out if you can, okay? Because remember this, the flesh of the pepper is very, very spicy. Okay, so we're adding carrots to that. Here I went uh, along, I went ahead and roasted uh, garlic, whole head of garlic, roasted. I roasted in the oven for about 25 minutes, okay? And, we have lime here so we're gonna use about a teaspoon of lime juice and see i cut off some of the rind of the lime add to my um add to my pepper add to my pepper sauce so guys that's all you need really pepper um you need say a teaspoon of sugar half a teaspoon of salt carrots all your peppers and you could even you could even add uh sorry oh and you need uh 
scallion too. So we're gonna put this in the oven for about 15, 15 minutes, okay? You don't wanna keep it in the oven too long, about 15 minutes, just, just let it uh, roast a little bit, okay? To give um, the pepper sauce extra flavor. All right, and then we're gonna be ready for the blender. Okay, so you got it? So that's all we need to do. Okay guys, so here we have it, our roasted peppers, carrots, scallion, um, the rind of the lime. I roasted it all together. And what else is in here? And that's it, and then, you know, a half teaspoon of sugar I added. I didn't add any salt to this. Um, yeah, so in the blender, so here it is guys. This is goodness, goodness, does not look beautiful. And guys, you know what, if you want, you don't even have to blend this. You can just chop up all this and just have it like a chunky pepper sauce, okay? But I'm gonna blend it. And here in the blender, I already went ahead and I put our roasted garlic. And I didn't wash out the blender after I made the green seasoning because, you know, nice flavor in there. So I just added the roasted garlic. Oh yeah, and a sliver of ginger, just a sliver, just a sliver. Okay, so here we go guys. I'm gonna add everything in the blender. So here we go guys. I'm gonna try and get it in this way. There we go. Into the blender. Perfect. There, everything went in there. Look at that guys. That is goodness. Oh, 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 I see a, a little stem here. Whoops. Guys, make sure you get all that out. Okay, so now we're gonna put the top on it. Here we go you need vinegar okay so we have our bottle of vinegar here okay so we need vinegar so I would say half cup vinegar okay so here guys I have my half cup of vinegar okay and I'm also gonna add wine vinegar quarter cup of wine vinegar also or if you want, you can just put quarter cup of um, this, uh, quarter cup of the pure white vinegar, and then you can put quarter cup of the wine vinegar. You don't want to add too much vinegar to this. Oh, we're adding our vinegar. There we go. If you need more, you can add a bit more. You can add quarter cup more if you'd like. Okay, we're gonna start our blending now. Okay guys, so this is how I want my pepper sauce, okay? That's it, that's the right consistency for me, see? As I said, if you want it more liquidy, just add a bit of water, don't put like a lot of, don't add more vinegar. Okay, just add like maybe a quarter cup more water to it. Okay, and that's it. Okay, here we go guys. 